I want to tap into the billion dollar industry, which is print on demand. And I want to try and build my own print on demand business. But rather than report on what happens afterwards, like I usually do, I actually want to pick up the camera and bring you guys along with me. So if you're ready for that, please smash the like button and let's dive in. But first of all, if you don't know what print on demand is, it's a very simple business model where you can list unique products on your website like this print that I've got here, but rather than having to buy loads of stock up front, you would, would list it on your site. When someone purchases it from your site, then a notification will be sent to a printer. That printer will then print this product and send it to your customer. It's very similar to the drop shipping business model, but we're actually printing things on demand. And the good thing about it is that you don't just have to focus on prints like this. You can print almost anything. You could do water bottles, you could do towels, cushion covers, doormats, the possibilities are endless and you actually can make this work if you choose the right product. And that's what I'm gonna be trying to do in this video. I'm gonna try and find a super successful product that I can upscale to the moon. But I just wanna show you something on my laptop to show you the potential of print on demand. So I was browsing on the website Flipper the other day and this business popped up for sale. And I'll just show you now, it's a print on demand business. It's a really simple idea. What they do is they'll print you a print on demand plaque um, with a picture that you've asked to put on here like this here, a picture plus your favorite song. So it's kind of like for memories if you've got like a wedding anniversary or your wedding song. If you actually look at their post on Flipper where they're actually trying to sell this business, the price they're asking for this is $119,000 at the moment. And they're making on average of around about $8,000 dollars nearly nine thousand dollars per month they had a big peak here last christmas they started it around about this time last year and they've managed to grow it up to basically a six-figure business so i thought maybe there's room to actually jump in on this print on demand business and try and set up my own print on demand business if these guys can make a six-figure business in in less than 11 months i can do it as well but the interesting thing about this is you'll notice that they're not selling generic print on demand products. So if you've ever looked into print on demand before, or you've looked at a store that does print on demand, a lot of people will build a, a store. They might try and choose like a niche, like a cat niche, say for instance, say I'm gonna sell cat cushion covers or cat t-shirts, um, and I'm gonna list them on my website and run ads to people that are interested in cats. That kind of worked a little while ago, I think. But I think to make print on demand successful, you need to add some kind of personalization like this here. So adding your own photograph on something or your, your song or your name or something to the product. Because if you actually look into print on demand, the cost is actually quite high. The profit margins are fairly, fairly slim. So you can't just create generic products because if you was just to sell a cat cushion cover or a cat print and it was print on demand, you're gonna to have to charge like $30 for a cat cushion cover and the customer can probably buy it from Amazon for like five or $10. But if you can say, I can put your cat on a cushion cover with your cat's name and it's gonna cost you $30, the person is much happier to, to pay a higher price because it's personalized. So I think that's the angle I'm gonna go for. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sit here, do a bit of research, try and come up with some ideas, have a look online and see what I can come up with for my print on demand business. Okay, so I think I've got an idea. So I've been having a little look around, a good place if you're trying to think of um, personalization, product ideas for print on demand businesses, a good place to look is Etsy. Etsy.com is obviously it's got a lot of personalized stuff, a lot of handmade stuff, but it's good for thinking of product. If you've got an idea for something, you can have a look on there, see if it already exists, see how some of those people are already doing it, and you could still build a business just around one of those products, which is what I'm gonna try and do. Now, I've been thinking for a little while, and the first idea that I had was this here, um, which I'll just show you, um, like marriage certificate, so like marriage, um, yeah, like a marriage certificate, a wedding certificate, that someone would put on their wall um, and they could obviously customize it with their name, the people that got married and the date and people are already selling these on Etsy. And I thought that could be, um, could be a good idea, but at the same time, there's already quite a few people doing it. I'm, like, I'm not super excited about that. And I, I just don't know if it would do that well. So then I was having a little look through Instagram 
And randomly, I follow the hashtag sober because I always try to give it up alcohol. Um, you might have seen me if you follow me on social media. I've tried to give up alcohol before. I failed quite a few times. But I always follow the hashtag on there and see people that have given up alcohol and they're, they're doing amazingly. It's really motivational. And there's actually a massive community on Instagram, but also on Reddit as well, of people that have actually given up alcohol, whether that's for addiction, they've been addicted to it, or they're just choosing a healthier lifestyle. And then I thought, maybe this is a good idea. So what I'm thinking of doing, I don't know if this is gonna work, but what I'm thinking of doing is some kind of certificate, like what I've just shown you there, like the, the wedding certificate, but to mark the day that someone had given up alcohol. Because if you actually go on social media and you type in the hashtag sober or alcohol free, a lot of these people are proud of that date that they gave up. They put it in their bios and they're like, first of the first, 2004 was the last day I ever had alcohol. So if you could create some kind of gift for those people or a gift to themselves, if they want to buy it for themselves, where they could potentially put it on their wall to mark that momentous day when they gave up alcohol, I think that could be quite a good print on demand product. It is fairly niche. Um, obviously it's not as popular as wedding gifts, but I feel like if I could tap into that market um, and into that community, I could actually do really well with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to fiverr.com. I'm gonna try and find someone who can create me a little mock-up of like an expensive looking, some kind of sober or alcohol free certificate, um, make it look quite expensive, almost like an award maybe, and see whether it's gonna work. So I'm gonna do that now. So the Fiverr order has come back with the mock-up designs of these certificates. And to be honest, they do not look good at all. And I've looked at them and I'm thinking, I was thinking, I might just sack this off. I don't think this is a good idea. They just look pretty naff. I'll show them you quickly here now. Certificate of appreciation, one day at a time. It looks really cheap. So I'm thinking I need to go down more the route of creating a piece of art as opposed to like a certificate. A piece of art that symbolizes the day that someone gave up drinking alcohol, that someone can give as a gift, but it looks cool on the wall. So what I've decided to do is contact some people on Fiverr that design like movie posters and that type of thing. Like this here, this guy, he does like design retro travel posters. I've asked him to do me a mock-up of this, maybe put the date there and it's a kind of a piece of artwork which has a meaning to it. Um, and I've contacted another couple of sellers as well that are doing similar kind of movie posters and see whether we can make this pop a little bit more and seem more like a gift. So now I just need to wait for some of these guys to get back with what they can create and we can see where we can take it from there. Okay, so I've just had an email from Fiverr on my phone to let me know that one of these orders for the posters is ready. So I thought I would just view it with you on camera and see if it's any good. Fingers crossed it's good and we can just continue with the challenge and get some prints actually printed and have a look at them. But here we go, let's review the order. Ah, So this is it here. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm not happy with that. It looks a little bit cartoony and not really the style that I was, I was hoping for. So I'll ask him to make some changes, but I actually have got another poster in being ordered at the moment from someone who had a much better Fiverr gig. So fingers crossed they do a better job of it, but I'll let you know how it goes. So it's the next day now and I've got some good news. So obviously I was waiting for these posters to come back from Fiverr. The one that I already showed you and then I was waiting for another one. And I'll just show you the comparison between the two. So this here is the one that I already showed you, which is pretty naff. And then the other guy that I ordered one from, they've sent one through and this is it. And I don't know about you, but I just think this is a million times better. So the interesting thing is I gave them the exact same brief and this is the difference in the two. And to be honest, when I first got this first one sent for, I was like, is this even gonna work? But now I'm much, much more confident that someone would wanna hang this on their wall to symbolize the day that they gave up drinking alcohol. It looks like a piece of artwork. It's, 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 it doesn't really go too much into kind of like sober and proud, which is kind of the angle I was going down at first. That was a little bit cringy. I feel like it's just symbolizing the important date. And then down at the bottom, there's a little quote that just says, taking each day at a time, living life to the fullest, hangover free and happy. So I'm quite happy with that. And I think it could work well. Um, as time goes by, I can obviously 
maybe change the images and offer more of a selection on my site for these posters. But I think at the start, I just wanna go down the one product route, really simple and just allow people to change the dates and obviously the name on them. So this could work well. Hopefully it does and we can obviously sell a lot of them. Now what I need to do is order some samples from Printful. So I'm gonna be using Printful.com, which is a printing company um, which connects to Shopify and I'll do all the print on demand. You can get any kind of products printed on here. So you can just create an account on Printful.com and then you can connect it to your Shopify store, which I'm gonna do a little bit later on. But first of all, I just wanna get these orders in so I can actually see a physical product. And then I'll also be able to use that physical product if it looks good for, for like product photos and things like that. So I wanna get the order in as soon as possible because it obviously take a bit of time for them to create it for me. So once you're inside Printful, you can have a look at all the different products that you, you can design in here. Um, I'm just gonna come to wall art here and then you can see there's quite a few different options for wall art, which I'm, I'm trying to work out what I actually wanna do for, for my product. Because obviously if I go for the framed wall, that's gonna look a, lot, look a lot better. It's gonna be more expensive, but obviously it's gonna cost me more money. It's gonna be cost the customer more money as well. So I might be able to get the same effect by just sending out um, just posters where they can just put them on the wall, which will be cheaper for me and the customer. So I'm still trying to work that out, but for, for now I'm just gonna order a sample of, of this version here, which is a framed um, poster which is obviously a bit more expensive. I'm gonna go for quite a large one, 12 times 16, um, which is gonna cost me $24 print on demand, which is quite expensive. And that's where I said that the, the profit margins are not crazy with these types of products, which is why you need to kind of add um, personalization. So hopefully if I can start charging like 40 to $50 for this framed piece of artwork, which is personalized, I should be able to make some good profit from it. But what I'm gonna do is just, just click here to create um, a sample order and then here I can just drag and drop the design so what I did is that on Fiverr I actually ordered the source file so I can edit the source file um, inside of Photoshop so I can change the date so I've just changed the date here um, and personalized it for me just as a quick example um, and then exported that as a PNG and then all I need to do is just drag this PNG into here and there you go and then we can just check out the mock-up view here and that looks pretty cool to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just order this now. Okay, so I've ordered that sample now. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long to get here because they have got a base in Europe. Um, and yeah, that, that'll be on the way. And then that's when I'll be able to check out if it's good enough quality and if it's gonna look good and use it for some photographs. I also obviously need to design the, the Shopify store as well where I'm gonna sell it and then connect my Printful account to Shopify. There's quite a few more steps that I need to go but I really need to wait for this sample to come. To come. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this episode here. If you wanna find out what happens next, obviously make sure you hit the subscribe button so you're subscribed with notification turned on so you do not miss the next video because in the next video, I'm gonna show you all about how I build the store, how I connect it up, Plus I'll show you the final um, samples and we can start running traffic to my store and see whether I start making some sales. So make sure you stay tuned for that episode. If you like this video and you like this style of content, please smash the like button and let me know in the comments. Until next time, cheers guys.